Hello again folks, it's Mel here at Stocksbridge Guitar Tech, welcome back to the channel. Now I wasn't going to do a video today, I've been really busy with stuff this week. I've actually got a gig this weekend, so I'm going to be playing a charity gig with a, a friend's band, so I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, but I just thought I'd make a very, very quick video to try and give you some tips if you've never gigged before or if you've only done one or two gigs. So just to let you know what, what I've done in preparation for this gig on Saturday. Now it's only a, a local pub that we're playing, a small pub, uh, but I just thought I'd share some of my past experience with you because it's amazing what you can forget especially if it's the first gig you've ever done it's amazing what you can forget to take with you and then you get to the gig and you think oh i've only forgot my flanger pedal silly little things like that so what i suggest you do is make yourself a list so i've made a list here i don't know if you can see that i've just written it out now don't do this half an hour before you load your car up because you're going to be sort of, again, if it's your first gig or your second gig, you're going to be a little bit under pressure. So do it a day or two in advance. So I've written this out this morning. Today's Thursday. The gig's on Saturday. Sorry, today when I'm recording this video is Thursday. It's actually a Friday when I've uploaded it. So I'll just read you out what I've put on here to give you some ideas. So, guitar. Don't forget that. That's quite important. And which guitar are you taking? Are you taking more than one guitar? Are you taking a backup guitar? Are you taking an acoustic and an electric? So make sure you know which guitars you're going to be taking. And obviously make sure they're all set up for the gig before you go which is what I've been doing I'm taking my Fender Telecaster blacktop and I've been setting that up yesterday amplifier again whichever amp you're going to be using make sure that you know which amp you're going to be using what you're taking or if you're using a line 6 helix or something just make sure you know that I need this, I need to take this. Pedal board if you're using one or pedals if you're just going to put them on the floor. Microphones if you're going to be singing or micing up the amp. Cables, obviously you need instrument cables. How many do you need? Do you know how many you're going to need? Are you just going to need one because you're going straight into the amp? Are you going to need a couple? from the amp to the pedal board, pedal board to the guitar, are you going to need more than that? And don't forget spares. Uh, power outlets or power bricks that you're going to plug your amp and your pedal brick into or whatever. Stands. If you're singing, you're going to need a mic stand. Uh, guitar stands. Nothing worse than getting to a gig and realising you forgotten to bring it something to stand your guitar on leaning it up against the amp it can be a bit dicey so if you've got a guitar stand use it plectrums how many times a guitarist gone to a gig and forgot a plectrum it does happen again don't forget to take spares because especially if they're the thin plasticky ones they can wear out really quickly. A clip-on tuner, if you're using one, if you've got a, a pedal tuner on your floorboard, you can, you can ignore that. Or if you're using an amp like my Black Star that has a tuner built into it, doesn't matter. In this case, I'll be using a clip-on tuner because the Marshall amp doesn't have a tuner built into it. Spare strings. Now, how many times have I seen a band and the guitarist broke a string mid-set and they've had to take 10, 15 minutes out to scrounge a spare string from another band or something that 
that luckily is on the same bill, the same night. It does happen, you break strings, if you haven't got a spare, especially if you're the only guitar player in that band, you're stuck. Uh, some kind of multi-tool with screwdrivers, hex wrench, things like that on it. You may have to adjust the action on your guitar. If it's a really hot day or a really cold day, you haven't played the guitar for a couple of days, that neck may have moved slightly. You might need to make a little truss rod adjustment or the guitar's going to be buzzing like crazy. So again, just be prepared. Uh, a string winder for if you do have to change your strings. Spare shirt or spare clothing. Again, if it's a really hot day, you don't want to be sweating like a wild boar, especially if it's a nice, sophisticated venue, which this one on Saturday isn't, so not so important, but I've still put spare shirt because it's just not very comfortable. If you're sweating like mad, to be sitting there for 30, 40 minutes, and then you've got to get up and do a second set. So take a spare shirt at least. Gaffer tape, something to tape your leads down with. So when you're doing your Angus Young duck walk or running across the stage, you're not gonna trip over cables. If it's just a small pub gig again, make sure that you've got some gaffer tape handy. It always comes in handy. A capo, if you're gonna be needing one of those. Uh, I've also got glass slide, because I'm gonna be doing at least one song with a bit of slide guitar in it. Set list, if you've got your set list already printed out or written out, make sure you don't forget to take that. Now these things, they all sound really obvious, but this it's quite surprising how long this list is. And you can forget things, which is why I said, make this list at least one day if not a couple of days before the gig because then something might pop into your head that you forgot for example if you look on the bottom there i've added two items that are not in my main list that i thought of later so spare cables so power cables mic cables instrument cables and DSL foot switch. If your amp has a foot switch with it, it has more than one channel, don't forget to take the foot switch. Now in some amps, if it's an open bike, you can keep that foot switch in the back of the amp, so you're not gonna forget it. Uh, the DSL that I'm using has a closed back, so I can't do that. So I, I put that down as a, a secondary item just so that I don't forget it that will go into my bag with all my cables and leads and microphones and whatever else I need so that's it for my list obviously depending on the gear you're using your list is going to be somewhat different but that's why it's a good idea to just think ahead plan a couple of days ahead before the gig what do I need to take is the guitar I'm going to be using, or guitars that I'm going to be using, are they set up, do they need new strings on them? All this kind of stuff, because obviously once you get to the gig, if those strings are dead, they're more likely to break for a start, and they're not going to sound as good as they could do. So just some really quick thoughts there for you. If you're planning on going out and doing your first gig, it's a good idea to make yourself a list so that when you get to the gig, you're not in a blind panic realizing that you've forgotten your guitar strap and you've nothing to hang it on your shoulders with. And then you've got to sit down all evening. Not a good look. So very, very quick video there for you today. That's all I've got for you today. As ever, if you get anything out of my videos or you just enjoy watching them, please do subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell. Uh, that'll really help me out. 
But until next time, look after yourselves and bye for now.